Why I'm going to lose 10 pounds in three months is because I have a wedding and I wanna look good and I wanna feel good. But in all seriousness, I've got people close to me that have been in and out of the hospital in the last two months. And I'm just realizing that I'm approaching 40 and getting to that time in my life where if I don't take serious action now, at some point, that's gonna be me. And so I can let it happen to me as a surprise, or I can take initiative. I can let things happen on my own terms. Yeah, these people, you know, hitting close to home. And also recently, belief in fatherhood talked with Coach JT. It just clicked that things can happen, that there is hope, that I can just, that I can do this thing right now. And so that is why I'm going to lose 10 pounds in three months. Now, I am 5'7", 180 pounds. I consider myself healthy, uh, but over the years, fatherhood, dad bod, uh, the weight just, you know, taking the kids' leftovers, not wanting to waste food adds up. You know, I, I, I want to take control of this. The thing that really struck a chord with me is when JT put it this way, he said something like, for a lot of people, food is an addiction. And for me, that made sense right away because I have experience with addiction. It just clicked, you know, I was like, yes, I do use food to cope, to numb out, to ignore, to mask. And so, um, yeah, I'm just going to get really serious with this diet thing. And when I say diet, I'm saying really being keen on when I'm eating out of emotional dysregulation versus a physical need to provide my body healthy energy so that I can function properly for my kids, for my family, for, for work, for doing the thing I need to do. I am 180 right now. I am going to be 170 by June. I think it's mid-June. Let's just call it mid-June. Yeah, I'm going to do it in a sustainable way. Now, I am not a health nut or a health guru. I'm just your average John, and uh, I don't know the ins and outs, the intricacies of dieting or metabolism or the body. But what I do know is that I have a ton of calories coming in via emotional regulation, I'll call it, or emotional eating, whatever you want to call it. And so for the next six weeks, I am going to be very keen on when I am eating out of emotional dysregulation and whenever I get that craving for sugar or for salt so I'm doing keto for the next five weeks uh, it's going to be a total of six weeks and I've already felt a couple days where I was reaching for the sugar because of wanting I don't know like a warm hug right like wanting assurance wanting um, validation and that was like, boom, aha, that is emotional eating. Um, and so what can I do about that, right? I have a bunch of healthy habits that I've listed that I'm going to go to when I'm craving sugar. Yeah, so I have a plan. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna do this keto thing and have my body burn fat stores. We'll see how that goes after this six weeks. So that puts us mid-April. I am going to do some carb cycling, um, basically eat more carbs on the days I work out more. And then, um, yeah, that's going to be the plan. Uh, I am putting this out there. I am making this video because I am putting a stake in the ground because like if I don't do this, then I'm not accountable, right? No one knows. And so you guys know now in three months, I'm going to be 170 and I'm going to check in in three months. If I don't come back in three months, mid-June and let you know, what weight I am, you guys need to call me out. All right. Uh, I'm serious. Call me out. Um, so that's it. That's all I got to say. It's just two simple reasons why I'm losing 10 pounds in three months. The first one is I don't want to rely on caffeine for energy. Like getting a headache because I didn't drink caffeine is ridiculous. I don't want to live like that. I don't want to live dependent on a substance. In addition to energy, there's this thing called self esteem. If I'm really honest with myself, I'm not happy at the way I look or feel when I put on that button down. And weddings tend to be a reminder of that for me. So it makes sense, all right? June 2024, three months. 
Having natural energy, being able to process things that happen to me in a healthy way, without coping, without calories, without sugar, without salty, crunchy stuff. And uh, yeah, ultimately, I think that is a beautiful expression of self-love. And if I can love myself more, then I can love others more. I think it just makes sense. Does that make sense? Which leads me to the second reason of why I'm doing this, and it is because of leadership. I want my kids to see me living in a healthy, sustainable way. I want to lead by example. I want them to know that we can do hard things. We can overcome. You know, come June, if I'm 171, that's still a success. Um, you know, it's not, goal is not met, but it's, you know, still a success. Um, so we'll see what happens. I appreciate you for watching this. Please keep me accountable. Come back mid-June and come ask me how I'm doing because I will be putting out a video mid-June that talks about what I talked about today, all right? Hopefully I have some great news for you guys. In the meantime, I will be putting out videos about trips that we've taken recently, and then of course pant videos for short people especially, um, some shirt videos, um, but yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to drop it in the comment section below. I love interacting with you guys in that way. As always, make it a great day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.